Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Ryder. We're back with another unboxing video. Now this one was sat, uh, the, the mailman left it on next to the mailbox in the rain. So we're going to see how bad that's going to make it. This is wet. Um, I'm hopeful that whoever sent this actually put it in a plastic bag. Otherwise it's probably ruined. Which kind of pisses me off. But we're going to see. It is in a plastic bag. That is awesome. It's even taped down, which is fine. It's actually a good idea. Although, it's taped a little tight. But it looks like. <clears throat> So, I made a little bit on this and actually won it, which was surprising. Uh, hopefully it's intact. This is Fringeworthy Science Fiction Role Playing uh, from Tritech Inc. Uh, let's see how the staples look real quick. Um, wow, they're not rusty, although they are really, look at that. This looks like they were added after the fact. They're barely holding things together. Uh, this is from 1982. I got it for 20 bucks, which is cheap. And it looks like it's, looks like everything is here. Um, portals to infinity. A half million years before history, a race called the uh, Tomelarn built a vast network of portals and pathways that spanned the galaxy and across dimensional lines. For tens of thousands of years, the Tomelarn traveled and traded pathways, traded the pathways, spreading their love of peace. Then, almost overnight, an unforeseen terror ended the Termelon and their vast achievements. In 1990, a Japanese Antarctic research ex expedition made an earth-shattering discovery that would forever change man's role in the universe. The alien portal system they found buried deep in the ice revealed an easy path to the stars and beyond. As the United Nations took control of the first station, a second portal was discovered in Canada and a third in the Soviet Union. As specially equipped teams attempted to pass through the portal, it was discovered only one in 100,000 could make the transmission transition onto the pathways. A desperate worldwide search was begun to find and train those people with the unknown quality. The, the quality the quality that allowed them access through the gates, the world of press named fringes. Uh, they come from every walk of they come from every walk of life and nation, the young, the old, the rich, the poor, the unscrupulous and the hopeful. These are the fringe worthy. The new age of exploration has begun. A horror is waiting. Oh it's actually very cool. Um, so, 1982. Uh, looks like it smells good. Oh, there's a bit of a time. There's the background history, and then we're into. So this is Tritec. So the rules are probably ridiculously complicated. Uh, but um, oh, neat. There's where the. I guess that's where they were located. Locations of the portals. Um, there's actually eight of them. Uh, Antarctica, Bahamas, Canada, Chile, Japan, Soviet Union, Great Britain, and Libya. Platforms. Very cool. I like the art. Some of the worlds. Here's a ton of rules about dying from various terrible things. Vehicle impact, toxins, disease, weapons fire. The Ed Powers story. Weaponry, hit locations. Yeah, there's a lot of charts for hit locations in tri tech games. Technology. Whoops. Some vehicles, air vehicles. Alternate worlds. Cool. All right, so there's Fringeworthy. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to y'all next time.